Hey friends and fellow crafters, today I have a uh, prop with me and the prop is this giant book called Dungeon Crawl Classics. Uh, now you can see this thing is huge. Uh, this this uh, cover, it's really an old school uh, type game and this cover really inspired me to do a craft. And as you can see, I'll give you a closer look, it's a really neat door there with a, a stairs leading up to a ledge. And I thought this would be a really cool craft. So uh, let's go to the table. I'll show you a little bit of the completed craft and then we'll start working on it. So uh, see you at the table. Hey Danny, I want to give a huge uh, shout out to you. Uh, without people like you helping me support the craft, I may not be able to bring these videos to you. So thanks again, and I really appreciate it. All right, guys, I got my cheap dollar store foam corn. I'm use my compass and uh, put a round uh, end on these two doors. The doors are one inch wide. Each door is one inch wide. And then the side of the door is going to be a half an inch. So I just measured from the center there. I'm just going to mark it in a little darker so I can see it easier with the pen. And uh, I've got the paper on still on the uh, on the foam core. And then I'm going to, I measured up a half an inch and I'm going to just do it by hand, do the top arch of the door. Okay. And then just kind of fill that in. And now I'm ready to cut. So I'll cut the door out. Easy. Just use an X-Acto knife. And cut, cut the top frame of the door off. Good to go. Now let's cut the two doors in half. Okay, there we go. Now I want to make an identical door because uh, you'll see why I want to do this in a few minutes, but uh, I'm going to do this so I can have uh, the face part of the door and then the regular part of the door. So, yeah, And then I'll just measure the center there. Each door is an inch. And I'll just cut those out. Okay, now here's a picture of the front of the Dungeon Crawl Classics book. You can see it has that neat uh, stone face. And I want to replicate that on this uh, cheap foam core. So I'm going to pull the paper off. And that, uh, you want to get the dollar store foam core because the paper easily comes off. Okay, so I'm going to go down just draw the face. Just copy off the picture there. I'm just using a ballpoint pen. Put the nose in. The details. Kind of that sullen face. And the eye. All right, cool. So now I've got those two halves drawn, I'm going to cut them out with the exacto, just like I did with the door. Just follow the lines. It cuts very easily. Uh, make sure you use a sharp exacto with this. You don't want to tear the foam core, foam board. Cut everything out. All right, good to go. Okay, now I've got a little sculpting tool. I'm going to use this to uh, do some detail on this face. Uh, I want to round the edge a little bit and then uh, pick out the details, push them into the foam core to give it some dimension so it's not just a flat um, looking piece of foam core. Right? So this will help really put that dimension into, this, into the foam core. I'm just pushing in and I'm getting angles on the foam core from the, the large curve on the tool. So there we go, nice. Okay, now I did a little more detail on the top there, which I didn't have marked with the pen. Just pull that in, so it's, like I said, it's getting that angular, nice angle there, kind of squishing it close to the detail. There we go, you can see it in the light there. Okay, now I have a rather large piece of cardboard, just scrap cardboard. I'm gonna bend it to try to make the cliff that the face is on, okay? So I'm just gonna bend it up, don't worry, you can't hurt it. There we go. I'm pleased with it. So now I need to uh, cut the edge off because in the picture it's like a cliff face so the, the edge is trimmed off. So I'm going to cut that off first. Now I've got the doors. I've got the other uh, doors I cut out, the secondary doors, and you'll see why here right now because I'm going to glue these faces onto the doors. 
All right, sweet. Nice. Just hot glue those on. Want to line, make sure they line up. So when you put it together, line them up. There we go, nice. Okay, so here's my door. Now I need to make an entrance for it. So I'm going to use the put it on the cardboard so I have the exact size. And then I'll just uh, mark it with a pen. And I'll know the exact size to cut out. And I'm just going to use my X-Acto and cut out. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Fits perfectly. All right. Now I want to have the doors actually open. So I'm going to use uh, barbecue skewers. Okay, I'm going to go up through the corrugation at the edge of the door. All right. And then I'm going to take my, uh, my door here. And I'm going to do an indentation here into the side of the door so that'll uh, help it uh, groove into that uh, that pole there okay now I'm gonna hold it for a sec so it sets up and you wanna be careful you don't want to glue it to the cardboard you just want to glue it to that barbecue score right so here's the outer edge of the door the frame and I want to mark this so I can see where the frame is when I put the uh, when I build the rest of the cliff so I'm just marking that for now. I'm not actually going to put it on yet. Okay. Now I'm going to start adding my uh, Elmer's glue all. I've got a paper towel. Put it on there. Wet it down. Kind of crinkle it up a bit. I want to get a nice, nice uh, rock cliff texture. And I'm going to use some 50-50 watered down glue here and add some more glue to it. And that'll soak into the paper towel. All right. And then I'll just keep going around. Same thing. Use a spray bottle, wet it. Water down glue. Crinkle it up. Cool. It's really filling in now. This looks like a huge mess, but it's really not that hard. And once it dries up, it'll be nice and strong. Okay, so there's my door, and uh, the edge of the door, I want to get the runes in the door, so I'm going to use the book to look at the uh, runes on the edge there. Let's pull the paper off so I can write into it with an ink pen. And I want to leave a space for that uh, block at the top, but I'm going to start uh, copying the runes from the picture into the door. So there we go. Just fill those in. You want to gouge in pretty deep with the pen because you want to want those to show up nicely when you paint it. You've all seen me do this technique before. Just fall around the edge, put all those runes in. Symbols. There we go, cool. Nice. All right. Now it's dried up. The front is dried up, but I want to put some braces on the back to help support the curvature of the cliff. So I'm just going to hot glue some uh, extra pieces of cardboard on the back. So this will just be like uh, some extra reinforcement. Put another piece of, uh, another stick of hot glue in there. So there. That'll really help as far as reinforcing and keeping it in shape without having to do two layers, right? Okay, so just adding that in. All right, sweet, we're done. Uh, now we'll move on to the next part in the next video. Hey, I hope you find these tips helpful. If you did, give your old DM Scotty a thumbs up, and that'd be a like. Uh, also, uh, check out my forum and Facebook group, a bunch of wonderful people on there. And uh, if you do like these vids, consider tipping. There is a little tip thing on the video. You can click on that and tip directly to your DM Scotty. And if you want to go take it further than that, you can go to uh, Patreon and become a supporter and a member of the family. Uh, I have a uh, monthly magazine called The Crafter's Lair, which you'll have instant access to when you become a supporter. Take care. Have fun gaming. Come on, mage, let me in. I want in. I want treasure, too.